Good afternoon, preppers. Welcome to Goshen Prepping. Of course, one of the things we have to prepare for is being on the run and being in shape. And it's very interesting because there's actually an article that came out right now about this exact subject. From the Hill, foodborne illness is a public health crisis and Congress must act. And first glance at this, you would think, oh, they're talking about actually illnesses that you catch. And even though the article does talk about this, there's more to it. At the end of January, the FDA proposed a redesign of the human food program in response to ongoing food crises impacting public safety and the health of millions of Americans. And they mentioned the recent shortage of infant formula and their criticism because of that. But here's the nuts and bolts. More Americans, 1,600 die each day from chronic food diseases, ready for this, such as obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart failure, and cancer. And more specifically, they said that's much more than 14 who actually die from microbial and chemical contaminants and all those related with the Department of Agriculture. And I don't know about you, but this blows my mind. The FDA, which has been well known for basically being lame, not doing anything, is actually putting out that all the things we've been talking about recently, obesity and high blood pressure, and more specifically, even though they're not mentioning it, preservatives and sugars pounded into foods are actually one of the leading causes we have of death in the United States. And the U.S. Government Accountability Office has identified both acute and chronic food illness regulatory issues in need of urgent reform. Now, I don't know about you, but when they put this information out, it's usually not along the lines of what truly is healthy and what actually will help Americans. Instead, what they like to do is try to change our diet and our freedom of what we want to eat. I like red meat. I like a good steak, it's delicious, but I could easily see them twisting this as they have in the past, trying to make it so we only eat things like Bill Gates food. You know, we're talking like crickets and, and GMO corn and all these things that are really bad for us. But I often see when they actually put these situations out, these news articles that, hey, here's a little warning that things are gonna be changing soon, but it's usually not changing for the better, mind you. All right, we'll keep our eye on this and I'll definitely report what I see uh, because I definitely see some nefarious activities in this direction. But either way, you definitely should be trying to cut down what you eat, trying to cut down on the sugars and preserved foods as we talked about in the past. In fact, this video here talks exactly about that. Thank you for watching.